where there have been reports of apparitions and disembodied voices. All we discover when we investigate Ridgebridge Hospital and the graveyard. Stay tuned to find out. In 2012, the Shadow Paranormal crew investigated Keddington, a large village in Suffolk, southeast of Cambridge, between Bury St Edmunds and Haverhill. For years, people have reported strange activity in the graveyard and abandoned hospital for mentally ill patients. We managed to confirm these reports and got a lot of evidence to support the eyewitness accounts, such as EVPs, strange EMF readings, unexplained whistling, and even voices through the PSB7 spirit box. So, over the years, people have experienced loads of things here. Disembodied voices, seeing apparitions, uh, the lights inside the buildings turn on by themselves. Um, loads of stuff has gone on here. We've even managed to capture like voices here. Um, and one of the weirdest things that happened, I came out of this garden over here with us, and um, for some reason I started whistling. And we got up the road there, and we could um, hear someone whistling behind us. And we came down. And uh, we, we tried to find out what the whistling was, but didn't know what it was. And it sounded like it was trying to copy me, uh, maybe trying to make contact. But hopefully we'll get something like that again tonight. It'll be really cool. Um, so basically, the Ridgebridge Hospital is getting shut down on Friday. They're bringing in the bulldozers and just knocking it all down. Um, so this is our last chance to really come here and do an investigation. Um, so you know we're really excited to do it and I really do hope we get something because we've had some awesome stuff here. We've been here loads of times even when we haven't filmed it. We've come here and done investigations here and we've always had some good stuff happen. Um, so I just hope it all lives up to its reputation tonight on the last time we're ever going to get to do anything here. I thought I got attacked. <laughs> this box I'm holding now, if you bring your energy around it, the light should be able to turn on. But just try as hard as you can. Come over here and I'll stand it up. So if you want you can take your time to build up your energy. There it is. It's going off. You just done it, can you do it again? Yeah, but we haven't turned off anything. I have. Well, I'll put them flight. No, I yeah, but it's staying at the same thing. Shouldn't do that. Right, mine's on flight now. Power button. Oh, okay, hold the power button to take it off your click flight mode. Mine's enabled now. Thank you very much if you were doing that. It's really, really helpful. We can't say for sure what was set in the EMF meter off as Chloe's phone was still on. However, it is very strange that it did go off when we asked it to. So we're going to have to label this as unexplained and not paranormal. Right, stand still, guys.
Next, watch as this orb anomaly flies past the camera and at the same time the EMF meter goes off. We can't say for sure what this orb anomaly is, however we don't think it's dust and we doubt it's a bug. So again, we're going to have to label it as unexplained. You alright? I'm just having a look. Hi, Can you turn the lights on again? Can you tap on one of these? Make a noise. Well, if you want, you can make that the lights turn on there again if that was easier. See Luke over there setting up the motion sensors. Uh, we set up the motion sensors now. I've tried before when the uh, flies or anything don't set them off. So, you know, if they go off, there's a good chance it is a ghost or something paranormal. Unless we see a bat in front of them. <laughs> or a cop. Yeah. <laughs> um, Alright, we set up three motion sensors here um, so if there's anyone here you'll see these little white boxes all three of them if you can go and move in front of them or move something in front of them and the lights will turn on if you can do that please that'd be absolutely brilliant try as hard as you can just move in front of them or maybe do something to them. move the motion sensors slightly just do something uh, that will let us know you're here You can uh, feed off our energy, any of ours, just try and bring off as much energy as you can. You should just disco dance in the spotlights. Is that a moth? Huh? I saw something fly through it, I think it might have been an insect though. Probably since the meter didn't go off. Yeah, it must have been insects. I just saw the little. I saw the little dots. I saw the little dots. I saw the little dots. Fuck! It was the game. Was that the wind? Hopefully. It could have been, but you know, I don't fucking know. Me and Luke, me and Carl both heard it in turn. And it's. Do you want to talk? Did you just slam the gate? There's no wind at all here. It just creeped again. Yeah. Is the gate even open is my next question. Can we do it? Okay. Oh my legs. <laughs> oh jeez. Still scaring the shit out of me. There's no draft here at all. Oh there is now. But it didn't creep. No, but it's moving. That, it was moving before the um You're here, can you shut that door please? I think we were left. Stay with me. <laughs> shut that door. I'm getting the flashlight because I don't want to go in there and it be a hobo. What's your thing?
whisper in a second. I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Is there someone behind that door? This is creepy because literally we both heard it creak. I know, I thought that was There just wasn't a wind when it done it though. No, there wasn't. The second time, there definitely wasn't. Because we, we, me and Chloe both heard it creak and looked over. Then we looked at each other, think, no, we heard the same thing. And then it completely. Yeah, we did. Banged. We looked at each other like, what the fuck? And then we heard it back. Do the to like, okay. What? Who's going behind? You caught cool with a camera in there? Yeah. I think I slot. Should I grab anything? No. I do, unless you want something. Okay. We need the spirit box. We'll come I'm back. the first one to die then. Oh man, there's this form in here. So he's the last one to get kidnapped. Oh, I'm the last one, though. Wow. Really overgrown? Well, far. What? Go, 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 go. Why? What I saw was what looks like a black silhouette of a person standing behind the gate. All of a sudden it turned and appeared to go through the gate and out onto the road. Out of shock from what I'd seen, I decided to turn and run straight away. What? I don't know, I, I, I can't tell. Carl close. runs so far ahead. I didn't go that close. Just a second. What was in there? I literally saw a black shadow behind the door. Soon after this, the motion sensor that we had set up on the wall out on the road turned on. Could it be that the spirit from the garden ran out onto the road setting the motion sensor off? You are kidding. Do you think it's that person? Oh, it's wait. an actual person though. That one us that set the motion sensor off? No, because I only got Run. to about here. Don't go so close to the gate. If that was you that made that motion sensor go off, can you do it again? Make the light turn on. Right, so that's where you went. We're not setting that on. No. We're not setting that on. Because even if I went to the like here. There's something in there though. Well, it depends if you want to be brave and go get it. Yep. Just no, I did not touch that door. What's interesting is that it can't be the wind moving the gate, as if you look at the grass, it's barely moving, indicating there's no wind at all. So we gonna be all right this? You know what? Yeah, he's fine. That garden over there, did anyone get a bad feeling when I was in there? Well, I didn't really get into there because you were just there and said, run! And, yeah. I kind of got your back shoved in my face. <laughs> Because it didn't feel so good in that garden. Yeah, well, we couldn't get into yeah. it. You were the only one that stepped into you it. Yeah. Just told you yeah, that's what I mean. Do you want to go back in it? Because it has a weird feeling in there. Like, really weird. Completely different from everywhere else. That's what I'm saying. Why don't you try the other gate? Have you looked Yeah, I swear. Do you know if you've got the motion sensor on camera? Um. Oh, well, hopefully. I mean, we know. I might have because I, I was facing Carl. We no, have some wind. So. I was facing Carl. Yeah. I might have. Oh well. Let's go through. Let's go through. Right, you ready? No. You guys right behind me? Pretty much. Not right behind you. Because I'll be kissing your ass otherwise. Let's do this. Okay. Right. Okay, guys, come in now. That, that, right, that right there is where I saw that shadow. Right behind that door you're coming through now. That feeling's gone. Totally different feeling when we came in, well I came here the first time. Totally different. But that shadow, right, no word of a lie, it was standing here, it was about that, that sort of height. And I could see sort of the silhouette, the outline of a head and shoulders, and it just walked towards that gate over there. The is you didn't have the camera I, did. <laughs> I know. But for sure I saw something. What? Should we try EMF? He's got EMF. 
We should have had that one. <laughs> I know, but that feeling's gone now. It doesn't feel anywhere near as weird or bad. I don't feel anything from here. No. I'm pretty good I feel from anything. That. So I mean, when I first came in, it was weird. Yeah, I can smell it now. Here. Is there someone here of us? Luke? Yeah? How much battery does this have? I've got another battery as well. I was going to say, because it's only got five minutes now. It was about 20 minutes left for when I had it last. Mm. That coffee, is there anyone smelling coffee still? No, it's gone. And that's what I thought. It's plants and shit. Here. Coffee smell. Just had it. Is there anyone here? Can you talk to me? Did you hear something? I think so. It mimics what I say, goes, come talk to me. <laughs> Listen. Can you talk to me? Yeah. Hello. How about that? Sounds female, though. Whatever it was, he goes, come talk to me. Well, we're not arguing what? about gender, we're just arguing about oh, no, you, existence. You talk to me. Usually sounds male. Oh. Man's fucking <laughs> we think we heard you say something there. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Mm. That was definitely you talk. What did you say a minute ago? That was you talking, wasn't it? Yeah. I think so. That was something when you said something about your mind. Oh yeah, because my mind of things is late. Yeah, that was it. Yeah.